Thanks to Amazon Mexico, we now have a reveal of potentially a brand new theme coming to LEGO in 2025. That theme being LEGO Horizon Adventures. Only one set's been revealed so far, but we're going to take a quick look at it. So what is up, you guys? Misa back! Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Will, and if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to leave a like, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and also don't forget to share this video out there. So Amazon Mexico accidentally revealed set number 77037, Aloy and Varl vs. Shellwalker and Saltooth. Bit of a mouthful of a name, but uh, there is a lot included in this set. The set itself will retail for 768 pieces. We don't have an exact price yet. From my understand about the rumors, it's going to be around $45, which is actually a pretty fair price, especially with the amount of pieces and what you get in this set. But taking a look at the actual set itself, we've got two minifigures including this set. First, we have Aloy, and then we have Varl. Aloy is, is a technically a new figure, but we have seen a minifigure of her before in the couple years ago with the tall neck set. As for Varl, he's a brand new minifigure, a character from the franchise. This gives me hope that other sets in this potential theme could also have other characters, especially Aaron, as he's one of my personal favorites. As for what's included set, of course, we have the Sawtooth, which looks like it has a detachable canister. And like the game, you can check all the yellow parts here seem to be its weak spots, as if when you scan with Aloy's focus and you can t figure out where those are. The Shellwalker itself has a shield, which includes also one of my few complaints about the set, as the shield is definitely supposed to be much larger. As for the rest of the Shellwalker, we have its container that can be detached, and the rest of the builds, both of them just look really good. I'm really happy with how both of them turned out. We also have a new bow element for Aloy, and then Varl's staff, and you can customize her bow, just like how you can customize all of her outfits in the game. And finally, we have a freeze canister, I'm pretty sure that's a blaze canister, and I don't know which canister that is, you'll have to let me know down in the comments. Other things including this set is a little bit of tall grass, which you can use to sneak around, and then a trip chest as well as a little campfire to save your progress like you do in the game. Now on to the topic we're all wondering, is this the start of a new theme? I personally think it is. When you take a look at this box art, the fact that they have a full-on box art design for this, it just makes me think there's gonna be more. And there are a lot of good options, which we're about to get into. But real quick, this is based off Horizon Adventures, the new LEGO game that just came out. I'm thinking of doing a playthrough on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Now, as for what other potential sets we can get, I have three particular choices that I think will make some absolutely amazing sets. The first one being the Snap Maw, this crocodilian-like creature. I just think out of all the machines they can do, this is one that translates really well into a set. Another one that I really think should come out is a corruptor considering these are one of the main machine enemies in the game and then last and not least we of course have the mighty thunderjaw considering the fact that all these machines were built from scratch by the horizon team at least according to a recent behind the scenes video for the new game i find it hard to believe that we couldn't have sets for all these coming out and then of course we can still get a couple smaller sets we need a couple Watchers, that's for sure. Watchers are like the starter enemy in the game. And of course, you also need a Strider for Aloy the Ride Around on. I think those two are also absolute musts. All right, everyone. That is the hopefully the start of a brand new theme. Personally, I'm really excited for this, as I love all the different machine designs. Horizons always had one of the coolest features, which is just simply all these animalistic machines that you get to fight and hunt. And I'm really looking forward to see what LEGO does with this in the future, if they are doing anything at all. All right, everyone, that about wraps up for this video. What other machines do would you like to see besides the ones I mentioned? If you enjoyed the video, please, once again, be sure to leave a like, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and also share this video out there. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.